Hello and welcome to Rune Factory 5, where we are now ready to go and see if we can befriend us another kitty. I don't remember if there were any of those kitties on floor 1. But we'll go and see. At least there are these. And I think we want that too. Obviously, all the herbs. And we'll wait for that cloud to make its way back here. Uh. Oh, duh. That's the way it worked. Okay. It's been a while since I've ridden these clouds here and actually I think I may want to get the gold oh, and silver and stuff here All right. All we right. do need to level up our forging and crafting I think we have the inventory space for some, some, um, ore of different kinds. Nice, nice. All right, all right. Okay, let's go see about that meowling. See if we can... Find one here. Just gotta wait for that cloud. And we have one here, but only one. I really need to be careful to not hurt it with all the status effects that my sword here does. I don't want to poison it and then have it accidentally die on me. I do want to kill all these other enemies though, and also get rid of the gate. Just gotta be super careful with the meowling there. Alright. Let's begin there, the there, brushing. There, 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 there. There, 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 there. Ouch! No. Don't run away from me. There, there. I wanna there, be your there, friend. There, 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 there. There, 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 there. And let's see if you like fish. I didn't see if the first symbol was a skull or a heart. We'll try that again. A heart. So the kitties do like fish. Let's see if we can have a bit of a 
better luck here. Nope. The, uh, goose or whatever that is. He's about to get over here as well, though. Don't want to accidentally feed the fish to it. Nice! Nope. That was the fourth one already. Or was it the third one? Come on, kitty. Nah. Let's try it with the milk. Looks like it's not really into the level one fish. And we did it. Yay. Ringer. Okay, fine. We have ourselves a second kitty. I do want to eventually get the birds as well. The geese and round robins and... What else was there? Right. Pengies and things. They are quite cute. Maybe, um... Well, we'll see which monster barn we want to put them into. For now, let's see if we can find more herbs and... And, um... Well, minerals and gems and stuff here. Because we do need to level up our skills. Yes! Yeah, we need to level up our skills in order to be able to learn more new recipes. do next? Maybe... Uh, let's go to the Thundering Wastes. I think there was some platinum there. Maybe, if I'm not mistaken. I think we only have like one platinum ore, so we do need more. And why not get all of the other stuff as well while we're here? Yes, we do need crafting and forging materials. We found some sort of a potion. Hmm. All right. So yeah, we do need crafting and forging materials so we can level up those skills. And also we need to spend yes. a little more time yes. All right. the uh, meeting with Martin at the inn is in the evening. So I think it needs to be like right, after 5pm right. or 6pm or right. something. <laughs> so we need to spend like All an right. in-game nice. hour or two. <laughs> and nice. that's fine. Nice. We can use that time to get us some forging and crafting materials. I 
think Bazaar's hideaway and Bandit King's old base should also have some stuff in them for us to mine. Nothing here except for some herbs. Maybe we need to go to the second floor. Yeah, we might. Let's get the RP. And let's go see about that second floor. I don't think there was anything here. At least, nothing that's really quickly accessible without having to fight. Aha! Uh -huh. We do have some things we can mine here. Excellent. <laughs> diamonds. All right. Yes. I think we needed those two. Yes. Yeah, we need to make earrings for some people, don't we? And as as long as we have the inventory space, let's also get the iron. Why not? It's coming up on 5 p.m. Let's check out Bandit King's old base. And then we'll go home. I don't know if it's after 5 p.m. or after 6 p.m. That we need to... Uh, Meet Martin at the inn. He did just say evening. We have a little more room in our inventory. Let's do some mining over here and then we'll go home and get rid of the loot in our inventory and see if the event at the inn is already right. available. Right. Huh. 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 Nice. All right. Okay, that's that. Let's get on home. We'll go and... Oh, there's more iron here. All right, all right. And our inventory's full. Well... Let's put like a whole lot of stuff away. Three diamonds and six platinum. Lovely. And of course, Ellie leaves. So we can make the magical potions and yes! level up our chemistry skill as well. There we go. Inventory cleaned up. 
And we do have the event available already. Let's go. Hi, Martin. I hope you didn't wait long. Let's get going. Yeah. Yo, even in you too? Right. Thank you for letting us stay the night, Murakumo. No prob. The baths are all yours tonight, so make yourselves at home. Thanks. Sorry, I hope you didn't wait long. The bath was so comfortable that I dozed off for a minute. It's okay. I just got out myself. I see. Um, is there something on my face? No. It's nothing. Mmm, dinner was really, really good. Right. It sure was. You could tell that Murakumo put a lot of effort into making it. You look sleepy. Feels like that long soak in the bath made me lose my focus. As it should have. You need to relax more. Darok agrees. He told me that no one can make a good blade if they're feeling tense all the time. Master Derek. He said that? Is that so? Hmm. Heh. <laughs> good night. Thanks for the hospitality, Murakumo. I woke up feeling completely refreshed. <laughs> I bet we don't just use any old bath water here. We've got the good stuff. Hazel, I appreciate you inviting me out. The stiffness in my shoulders is gone and... My mind feels sharper than ever. Thanks. Now I understand what everyone meant when they said that it's important to rest. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Now I can work even longer and harder than before. Oh jeez, he didn't really get it at all, did he? But still... The guy's a workaholic, yeah, but he's not dense. The importance of rest, as well as your concern for him, made it through loud and clear. Have some faith in him now, will ya? You know what? I will. Oh, it's the next morning. Well, I mean, the plan was to stay the night, so yeah. Do we want to see Lucy's art event? I think we'll leave our morning farm chores till next episode. 
but we might see Lucy's event. Hey, what's up? You look pretty excited. Ta-da! You bet! See, Dad's been off on a trip for ages, and he finally sent us a letter and presents. Check it out! It's a hand mirror, just for me. Look on the back, see all the dents and divots? Probably used to be gems and stuff in there. Centuries of neglect have left it dusty and worn, so it's got a real rustic feel. If I look it closely enough... Like, really close. It reminds me of Dad, and that makes me miss him. A lot. Uh, Lucy. Huh? Ah, uh, wait. What did I say that for? Uh. That's not what I meant. I wanted to say that it really makes me feel the weight of the history behind it. History, huh? Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's quite the antique. My husband found it while excavating the tomb of an ancient king. He dug up several of them, so he picked one to send to Lucy as a gift. Huh? He is digging up an old tomb. Just what is his job? That's an archaeologist. He's actually pretty famous in those circles. Wow, really? Neat. Not particularly. He's a flighty, absent-minded lout who flits across the world from site to site and barely ever remembers to visit his family at home. Come on, Mom. You know you love him. Anyway, what am I still doing here? I've got to show this off to Priscilla and everyone else in town. See ya, Hazel. <sighs> Sheesh. She's as flighty as her father today. She's been like that all morning, probably because of the mirror. I know she's always been full of energy, but this is unusual, even for her. Childish glee, perhaps? Still... She misses him. I've never heard her admit that out loud before. In fact, that's not like her at all. Uh... Not like herself, huh? Come to think of it, she hasn't challenged me to anything today either. Feeling well? Hi, Simone. Hazel, do you have a moment? Huh? Uh, Simone? For goodness sake, Hazel. You're always trying to carry the weight of the whole world on your shoulders. If nothing else, at least let me worry about your safety. 
the next time something happens, come straight to me if you need any help. Understood? Yes, Simone. Thank you. Let me see if I have a potion I can give you as a gift. I wonder if it's some kind of a magic mirror that Lucy's father sent her. Looks like we can't continue the event right away. I guess we'll have to wait till the afternoon or tomorrow or something. So, um, we'll wait. Hey, Julian. Hazel, you're home. I'm so glad. I, um, I was worried that I hadn't prayed hard enough, so you wouldn't come back and... You have nothing to worry about. I heard your voice loud and clear, Julian. Thanks. You really are a good kid. Oh, um, uh, right. Well, I'm glad you're back. Hey, quit treating me like a kid. And I'm super glad to be back. Um, before we save the game... Do we want to level up our crafting or forging? Maybe forging. We do have a lot of weapon recipes to learn. And we have a lot of iron, so we could use that, or... Let's just use the iron. Oh, and um, I need to make sure that I'm wearing the scarf. Yeah, I wasn't. Okay, now I am. That'll make our RP stretch a little further. We'll just make as many of these as we can fit into our inventory. And then we'll put them into the shipping bin and... Um, we'll repeat this process a couple of times. There we go, the first batch. Let's make a second batch as well. We do need to leave some RP for the farm work for next episode. But we can use some here. I wonder if it really is a magic mirror that Lucy's dad sent her. Some kind of, um, like a mirror that makes you tell the truth. That makes you say what's really on your mind. Oh, 
Lucy is the kind of strong, independent character that doesn't want to worry anybody. So I'm not surprised that she wouldn't ordinarily admit that she misses her father. Of course, because she doesn't want people to worry about her. But maybe if it was like a magic, uh, tell the truth, tell what's in your mind and soul kind of mirror, maybe it made her do it. Well, I'm sure we'll find out. And I'm really looking forward to getting to continue that event. We'll have to see if we can continue it this afternoon or... Or if we need to wait till tomorrow. Anyway, we'll save the game here for now and um, continue with our farm chores in the next episode. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.